Here I'm going to review some simple filters that you can put inside of Calculate the calculate statement. Now we've actually already done one if you think about it. So in the last video you saw that inside of calculate we added some context to the initial context and the context that we added was the state code of FL which is for Florida and then we've got this new result here. But now I just want to show you that you can add a num these in a number of different ways. So you've got immense flexibility here and it's very similar to say a sum of function in Excel or some product function in Excel. But I would say that it's far easier to understand than some of those more complex formulas that you might end up writing in Excel that could get uh, to three rows long and um, no one's gonna, no one's really gonna understand, right? But here inside of Calculate, it can be a lot cleaner, a lot easier to understand. So I'm just gonna show an example where we might want to here, we might want to create some other calculations with some different contexts, and we're going to put um, some simple filters inside of Calculate to create that context. So I'm just going to create a new measure here, and I'm going to call this, I'm just going to go quantity sold, quantity sold in 2015. And I'm going to again use Calculate. I'm going to use my total quantity sold function, my core calculation I like to call them. And then I'm going to add some context. I'm just going to go year equal to 2015. And then I'm going to push enter. And then if I drag that in, you'll see that this is now quantity sold in 2015. Now, what's interesting, an interesting point I just want to make here is if you look down to the right hand side, you'll see that there is actually some other filters placed inside at this report page. I've got a page level filter of 2016. So this total quantity sold could actually be quite deceiving because it's not actually the total quantity sold of the entire throughout time of, the, of all the sales that you've made. It's actually only the total quantity sold for 2016 because that is the filter on this entire page. And so that is also very important in understanding, well, what's the initial evaluation context? Well, it's not only what could be derived in a table or in a visualization, it's also what could be derived from filters that you have on here. Now, in this case, we have altered, we have altered the context which has started from here, uh, and we've altered it with, um, by, we've, we've basically changed it completely, and we've said, let's make the dates a year 2015 instead of 2016, and then that's how we get our result there. Now, I'm going to show you one other example where, we, where I could use this, this simple filter to filter on a particular product in this case. But remember, that you've got to remember that the initial context though is product, and we run into a bit of a problem by using a very simple filter like this. So if I go quantity sold for product one here, and I again go calculate, and then I go total sales, I actually total quantity sold, and then I'm gonna go product one, I'm gonna go find my product name is equal to product one. And then I'm gonna go enter. Now if I drag this into the table, you're gonna see some interesting results here. You'll see here, right, that this quantity sold for product one is, is 75 for every single row calculated down here. Now, you've got to think about a couple of things here. First of all, this is actually quantity sold for 2016. That's the first thing you've got to realize. So somehow you need to make, um, make uh, the user or the consumer quite aware of what context is, is um, initially being evaluated for this result. But then we get product one in every single row here. And that is because we have tried to change the context of uh, a column which is already in the context of a calculation, of, of all of these calculations. So it's just one thing to, to be very aware of if you are trying to change the context of something that already exists. Now we can get a very, we can change this. So say for instance, I only wanted to see this result inside of, um, on this row for product one, right? And I wanted zero for the rest. That's where you would actually use what's called filter or a table function. And uh, in this case, if I just do it quickly, you'll see that by doing that, you actually get no results for the other products and then you are actually truly filtering uh, for, uh, for, for, product 70, uh, for product one in this case, and they were only receiving uh, 75 there. 
I just wanted to introduce that to you and in the next uh, video uh, we're going to go through what table functions are and what they uh, what they actually do in the background but hopefully give, that gives you a very good overview a very simple or simplistic overview of what filters you can put into a calculate statement remember with a through a calculate statement you can either change or add to the initial evaluation context that's a key thing the key theme to stick uh, try and stick in stick in your mind when you're trying to work out what every calculation is actually doing inside of dax